we are very happy that we've been moved from the red light to other countries because that restores confidence in the travelers and with that we'll also have uh, the aviation industry uh, kickstarting travelers uh, traveling around uh, Malindi is open we love uh, Malindi and Malindi we are open for tourists we've been open for tourists for several months uh, we've followed the uh, COVID protocols, vaccinations are ongoing, and uh, with the lifting of the, the country, I mean the, from the red light to uh, other countries, it becomes cheaper to travel because then uh, coming from Kenya, you don't need to be quarantined, you don't need to, you know, for the 10 days that uh, was mandatory to be quarantined in the UK, bringing fear, and uh, Malindi is cushioned by two biospheres. I mean, we have a certified marine park. Uh, certified biosphere by the marine park and we also have Sokoke forest. The air is clean, it's beautiful, we have uh, life uh, that is thriving. Come and rejuvenate in Kenya, we are open. Kenya Atosha, Malindi Atosha. We are optimistic and uh, we are optimistic both domestic and international and also the regional tourism is going to pick up. Uh, we can only hope that people continue being vaccinated to get uh, to the threshold of at least 80 percent. Uh, Kenyans should not shy away. There's a lot of propaganda about uh, vaccinations. I mean, you're, when you're born, you're already on a death, uh, on a death uh, sentence. Everybody will die. At a certain point, we will all die. So don't be shy about or don't be afraid of vaccinations. If you care about your community, you care about your children, you care about the future, get vaccinated. Let's kickstart the economy in various ways. We are also happy that the ban has been lifted. Kenya has been removed from the red red list and um, that will add to our tourism. Uh, it's an advantage to the tourism sector. Sector. We're expecting more visitors. We're expecting also Kenyans to move to the other side and it's good for market. And for us, we are very happy. Uh, since Corona came, tourism sector had gone down, but now we we are happy um, that we are we will be expecting more visitors now, and especially in Malindi, that tourism had really gone down. We're expecting more visitors now. Uh, we came down to Malindi for attachment, and we saw it fit to to join the others today in the beach cleanup, so that we can help preserve our environment. It's up to us young people, we feel like, to be able to push tourism in a positive direction. And we, I see that we can help out in any way we can. This is, uh, today, today we came here so that we can help out the others and also show that we are involved in environmental cleanup.